Yo, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. So recently there was a poll that I posted on my YouTube channel and the poll basically stated, what do you want to see in the next YouTube video? And someone said they wanted to see the current state of fades of the jeans that I'm wearing. And I thought, what a great idea. I'm going to jump back there and I'll show you the jeans that I'm currently wearing. They're a Brave Star mystery pick. 13 ounce, I want to say Cone Mills denim. I did the first soak at 75 wears, and I think I've probably worn them since then, probably another 200 times. Okay, here the jeans are before I wash them, before I do anything else, all right? Just do a quick spin around so you can take a look. Okay, let's take a closer look uh, with the brighter light here, all right? I'm just kind of look around. You got your standard knee fades, right? Uh, everyone's going to have these if you're doing anything, really. Uh, you got your whiskering going on here. You can kind of see a little more of it with like the creasing and the folds. Not so much the fade yet. You can see the starts of it. Uh, you got your pocket knife fade. Again, you're going to see more distressing here. Knife going in and out. Uh, and then as well here. Okay. Got it down the seams. You're starting to see some fading around the outline of the pocket. You got the wallet fade, right? Honeycombs going on again. You're seeing more creasing now, but hopefully we're going to see some pop and fades after I wash these. Uh, same thing down the inseam here, right? Uh, overall, cuffs aren't looking too bad either, right? Uh, not too blown out considering, like I said, there's been about 150 to 200 wears uh, since the 75 wear soak. All right, let's just do a quick flyover, right? See what we're working with here. Got a little fraying, all right? Not too bad. All right, let's get down in here. Pretty cool, looking good. Yeah, look at that, like look at that blue, that light blue starting to pop through there. Even here, you can kind of see the sheen of the, the light blue uh, indigo in there. So it's looking really awesome. Looking good, and let's flip these over. Same thing, got some fraying. Definitely looking good here with these honeycombs, right? I mean, like I said, I've worn these Maybe close to 200 times since that last soak. So I'm gonna have a lot going on there for fades. However, we're approaching blowout status here. Uh, getting close. All right, so we got some, some thread showing through there, which is cool, I got no problem with that. That's yeah, all part of it. Uh, and again, this is where you're gonna see a lot of like the real heavy distressing on most of your, your raw denim is gonna be in like the crotch area. That's where all the blowouts start to occur, all right? And as you can see, I put my cell phone back here so you got some light outlining going on. And then obviously the wallet here. And then all the stressing like right through here on these seams as well, right? Okay, denim is inside out. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter if it's inside out or not. I just prefer it this way. Before you throw this in, make sure you empty the cuffs. When you turn these inside out, when you flip these cuffs out, guys and girls, uh, make sure you empty them into a trash can or the toilet because it looked like Andre the Giant's belly button lint was let out. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna throw these into there. We've got a little soap in there, a little uh, like fragrance free, free and clear type stuff. Uh, all right, so what you do is just get them in here, get them wet, weigh them down, and you're good. All right. Should I wash my jeans more often? Some people think I should, but honestly, they don't smell. All right, you can ask my wife, probably the only person who smells my jeans. Um, but I, I check them every once in a while and I definitely don't have any issues. But I'm also a clean person, I shower every day. You know what I mean? Like if you're a clean person and you don't stink, then your jeans aren't gonna stink, all right? That's just how it works. And also, these are 100% denim, right? This is, this is, there's no like rayon or spandex or any synthetic crap in here. Um, I think that contributes a lot to the BO uh, the smell you're getting from jeans, right? Because I'm telling you guys and girls, you know, I, I wear these, all my jeans all the time, and I only wash them now like every 100 wears to 200 wears, depending on what I'm feeling, all right? Um, so yeah, man, I mean, it saves more water, it saves water, it saves on like detergent, just all types of stuff, really, and it's fun, all right? So there you go, I'm gonna leave them in here, whoa! We're gonna leave these in here for about 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes, and then come back, uh, dry them out, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look at these real quick. Woo! All right, that tub, okay. So now, since there was soap in here, we're gonna drain this, 
fill with cold water, rinse them off, and then dry them off. All right, so we're gonna do the cold water rinse right now. Just same thing, just same way you clean your jeans. You're just gonna do it, agitate them into cold water, and that should get all the detergent off. Uh, you should be good to go. All right, man, as you guys can tell, I'm outside. Uh, we're about to head into summer months right now, so no more hanging these over the shower curtain during those fall and winter months. Uh, I'm just gonna have these dry out in the sun. Uh, who knows what the denim gurus think, but honestly, you know what I mean? Drop me a comment if I'm doing it wrong. It's about how much I care. Anyway, let's check it out. Just threw them on a towel. Got my boy Mango over there holding it down. And we're just gonna let them dry out here, all right? Flip them over in a little bit, dry them some more. We'll throw these back on and they should be pretty awesome. We'll be able to rock and roll, okay? All right, so we're back. The jeans have dried out in the sunlight and man, I got some news to tell you. Let's go take a look. Boom. I think the sun really helped. Dried them out really quick. And uh, yeah, man, so let's take a look at how these fades have progressed and pronounced. All right, like I said before, we had some creasing. Now you look, we've got some really good fades, even down here, some of the stacking, right? Right there. This one doesn't have as much stacking, but it's got some, definitely some frays. But hey, you know, uh, the other pair that I wore 400 times were way more worn out by this point, so doing something right. All right, the knee fades coming out, coming out really nice, all right? Now up here, let's zoom out. You can see the whiskers now, right? Like before, we just had creases. Now if I flatten this, you can see the actual fade, all right? Let's take a look at that. And like here and here, right? All right, so we see all these fades. And then we zoom out. You can see it again, like, like where the button fly is. You've got the fading, you got the pocket knife fade really coming in nice. I will zoom out here. And then just general fading around here, right? Like anywhere there's like wear and tear. Let's flip these over. Okay, now we'll just, you know, same thing down here. Frayed cuffs, looking good. Uh, here, again, we had a ton of just like what looked like creasing and stuff, but now you can definitely see the fades coming in. Really distressed, looking awesome. All right, same with back here. Right? All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, coming into blowout territory. But that's okay, still not too bad. I'll definitely get a few, definitely a few hundred more wears out of these before there's any issue and I have to get those repaired. Uh, nice, a little wear and tear there. I, I don't know if you can catch this, but the iPhone fade, I mean, this is gonna be the new, the new iPhone, the new phone fade, right? Instead of that first pair I had where it had the big front pocket fade, now we've got this, the iPhone 13 fade. All right, so I might be trending soon, people. Enough people see this video, all right? Make sure you get in on that. Uh, belt loop fades, nice. Patches looking dope. All right, coming in nice, getting a real nice tan to it. And then back here again, like on the seams around here. All right, cool. All right, so let me throw these on. We'll see how they look, and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, here we are. Let's take a quick look at how they've faded uh, under the light, or how they look now that I'm wearing them. Like I said, these are going to be a lighter blue than the other pairs that I own, so that's pretty awesome. And you can already see that starting to pop a little bit. Here, kind of that really bright pronounced blue, which I really dig. Uh, here, you know, you got the standard, all the fades in all the right places. All right. Uh, again, like the honeycomb came out really nice, I think, on the back of these. And the whiskering is really good up here. The whiskers, uh, overall, definitely looking awesome. Uh, let's take a step back so you can see, you know, with the footwear on, uh, same kicks I had on before. And then now I'll step back, show you what it looks like overall, all right? Okay, so let's take a quick look at how they look after the 200 washes, hot water wash in the tub, cold water rinse. Uh, overall, I think they fit really great, but I'll let you be the judge of that, okay? Okay, my final thoughts are that these things fit great. I would definitely wash all my jeans like this in the future. It's really shrunk them back into that original slim taper fit, uh, like when I first purchased them, uh, which is always a nice feeling. They'll stretch out again over time like they did. But overall, 
definitely satisfied. I think the fades look really good. Thanks to the subscriber who suggested this. It was really fun making the video. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming out in the near future, being that I got laid off last week with almost 200 of my coworkers, which totally sucks, but that's life in the tech world right now. I'll land on my feet somewhere else. But in the meantime, if you do wanna help out, hit that like button, drop a comment, share this video with anybody you know. And also, if you aren't subscribed, what are you doing, man? Subscribe to my channel right now. Turn on notifications so you can find out what the next video drops. And that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Be kind to each other out there. Talk to you soon. Peace.